I struggled with my weight my entire life. From a very young age, about age 10, I started struggling with emotional eating as well. I had a very traumatic childhood and I used fo food to cope with that. My emotional eating caused me to gain so much weight that in my late 20s, I reached my heaviest weight of 275 pounds. I was a size 24 pant and my weight was causing me serious health problems. I had plantar fasciitis so bad in my left foot I could barely walk and I had sleep apnea so bad I needed a machine to help me breathe at night because I was stopping breathing seven times a night and partially stopping breathing 84 times a night. That my life was at risk because my weight was really causing a lot of problems and I knew I needed to lose weight and I tried so hard for years and I kept failing I tried everything that I could think of and I started to get really down and feel like this is hopeless this is never gonna get better like what if I can't lose weight What's going to happen to me? Are my, is my health going to get worse? Am I not going to wake up one day? And I wasn't even 30 yet. I said to myself, I struggled. I had so many days where I just felt like giving up. And one day I said, you know what? I'm worth it to try. Even if I keep having a hard time, I'm worth it to keep trying and not give up. And I kept trying. And then I realized all the things that I had tried before, they were things that weren't sustainable. I had been trying fad diets, I'd been taking away food groups, I'd been doing challenges and things that I really didn't like and I also couldn't sustain for long periods of time. So I decided, what if I start doing little things, small changes instead, things that I could sustain, could I maybe get some results? Could I maybe get somewhere? So I started doing little things. I was originally drinking seven cans of regular pop a day and I switched to diet. Then I started, instead of eating a bag of chips a night as a, for a snack, I started measuring it into a bowl. And I was making little changes that I could build upon. And I started to move my body through walking 15 minutes a day because I really couldn't do much physically because of my weight and the plantar fasciitis was really bad but the walking worked and I started portioning my food and those little things they seemed little but they started giving me big results and eventually I started to lose weight and I lost you know 50 pounds in my first three months because I had so much weight to lose and then I went on to lose a total of hundred and thirty pounds and I've been able to keep it off for seven years and I wanted to make this video for anybody watching right now that is struggling that feels like their weight loss journey is hopeless that feels like they want to give up or have given up or they keep making mistakes and they think like this is pointless I made lots of mistakes. I lost weight, I gained weight, I fell off track so many times. But I'm standing here right now saying, I never thought I would be here. So if you're watching this and you are thinking of giving up, that is one thing, do not give up. This is the point of the video. I really wanted to give up many times, but I didn't. You have no idea where your journey will end. I was 275 pounds. My health was going down very fast because of my weight. Um, I could barely walk. I was a size 24 pant and I'm standing here now today, 139 pounds, fitting into my first size fours, size five pants, size smalls. I never thought I would be here. I'm 38 years old now. I am in the best shape of my life. I'm the leanest, most fit I've ever been. And if I would have told myself that if I could go back into the past and say, guess what, Nicole, don't give up. You're going to be here one day. I would never know it. So the friends do not give up one small thing at a time, whatever you are capable of, 
do one thing and build on it. Be consistent with it. Add an, a bottle of water, walk for five minutes. Anything that you can do that you enjoy, that you can stick to, whatever you do, do not give up. It's normal to make mistakes. A weight loss journey is not linear. I made tons of mistakes, but what I did was I picked myself back up when I fell and I just kept going. I kept trying things until something stuck. And you never know where it's going. Me and Nicole have both lost 130 pounds. And at the beginning, we were just trying to save our lives. Mm -hmm. Then when we kind of got a little bit of our health under control, for me, I was like, okay, if I can get under 300 pounds, then I, I, I'd be perfect. And then I did it. And then I was like, well, maybe I can, you know, walk more than 20 minutes without my legs hurting. Then I did half an hour, flash forward to whatever it is, eight years later. Um, <laughs> we're in, both in the best shape of our life. We both lost 130 pounds and we've kept it off for seven years. And you know, it took us two years to lose the weight because after we lost the first 100 pounds, we tried to speed up the journey. We ended up gaining back 10 pounds. So we had to recalibrate and lose, get back on track and lose the weight you know, that we had gained plus the weight we still had to lose. And so it took us a little longer, but that's the point is, you make mistakes but you learn and you don't give up and <clears throat> Nicole went from drinking seven Dr. Peppers a day no water at all not oh. taking care of her body um, eating to the point of morbid obesity and she's a sponsored athlete now and that is why I'm saying like you never know where your journey will end. I'm sp I'm a sponsored athlete by Huddle harder than last time you know the link for the supplements is down below I <laughs> we started a YouTube channel because we struggled so much that we wanted to help other people not struggle. Kyla and I had no clue that we would be here. I had no clue that I would ever get out of plus size clothing, um, that I would ever be able to walk. Like when I started walking for 15 minutes, Kyla and I made a pact to do that every day. But in that 15 minutes, he had leg cramps so bad and my plantar fasciitis was so bad. We had to stop and take breaks every couple of minutes. We went from doing that 15 minutes to stopping, you know, for breaks. We do an hour of cardio six days a week now. We've we always, at, when we started the YouTube channel, we didn't have any really goals. We were just trying to help people and put out videos. Um, but we had a lot of people along the way say like, this is just a hobby and you might as well give it up. and. It's crazy to think that we have the 100,000 plaque now too. So basically don't give up on anything that you want to do because if you keep going and you're as stubborn as me and Nicole, you'll get there. You'll get there. And like Kyle said, like at first, his goal was just to get under 300 pounds. Mine was to maybe not be in plus size clothing, to be able to walk more than 15 minutes and to you know walk a couple minutes without pausing for breaks. Maybe not need your sleep apnea machine to sleep. You know, and I was, I was able to get medically cleared of the sleep apnea where I don't need the machine anymore. And that might not be the case for everyone, but I was able to reverse it with my diet and my exercise by losing the weight because the weight was the problem for me. And the plantar fasciitis, again, the weight was the problem for me. I had to do some, you know, stretching and some rehabbing of it, but I am pretty much clear of the plantar fasciitis to get sore every once in a while, but after losing the weight, it was gone. And again, that might be the, not be the case for everyone, but I never thought I would be here. And you know, you might have a goal, keep trying to reach it, but you have no clue. There's probably goals and things that you don't even know yet that you're gonna reach. Oh yeah, so, I had a point before when I was talking about the plaque. Oh yeah. We wanted to give up so many times on YouTube. We, we, we questioned it all the time. Should we keep going? Um, is it worth it? And um, is it, we never gave up. Yeah, we, we even were like, are we good enough? Maybe we're not good enough. Maybe we should stop. Guess what? You are good enough. You are worth it to reach your goals, to reach goals you don't even know that you're capable of yet, to get places you have no clue that you're gonna go. Kyle and I never thought we would be here and you have no clue where your journey's gonna end, so please 
do not give up. Know that we love you very much and the whole point of this channel and this video is to tell you that we struggled, we did not give up, and we are further than we ever dreamed we would be. And it's possible if you don't give up that you could be there too. And if you guys wanna know exactly what it ate to lose the weight, I have two weight loss eBooks. The links are down below along with the link for my brand new guilt-free cookbook. And of course the hood ult, that harder than last time supplement is down below as well. I also have one, two videos that you can watch for free so that you can learn how I love my food, lost the weight and love my life and get lean but not mean and just get places I never dreamed. And wear sharp <laughs> sandals. I almost didn't wear them because <laughs> I'm like, well, I'm filming a serious video. Maybe I shouldn't wear shark sandals, but shark sandals are life. Hey, it's a part of you. Yeah. <laughs> so I had to wear these. The friends, I love you. Don't give up. We love you. We're here for you. Peace. Catch you in the next vid. You can do this. You got this. We believe in you. See ya. See ya. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't